Hello, and thank you for stopping in at Mina's Kitchen. I'm Mina, and on this tutorial, I will show you how to make one of my favorite no-bake desserts. It's called Banoffee Pie. I'll be adding in an extra ingredient not traditional to Banoffee Pie, but something I think adds an extra richness to the dessert. I'll be adding in toffee ice cream. Banoffee Pie is originally an English dessert pie made from bananas, cream, toffee, with a crumble biscuit base. I first heard about it during an interview with the British actor Benedict Cumberbatch. The interview asked him what his favorite dessert was. And guess what he said? Banoffee pie, of course. So with that curiosity, I figured out how to make it. It's sure a lot of fun to make for an occasional baker like myself. Instead of making it in a pie, we'll be putting it into individual dessert cups. So continue watching and I'll show you how to make this brilliantly sweet dessert. So it's time to carry on and make some banoffee pie. So let's go over all the ingredients we will need. One ripe banana, one cup of Biscoff cookies crushed, a half a cup of melted salted butter, two tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk, a quarter cup of brown sugar, Toffee ice cream, any brand will do. Whipped cream and toffee bits. And now for our preparation steps. Place the Biscoff cookies in a large Ziploc bag and smack the heck out of it with a rolling pin. Alternatively, you can use a food processor to do this step, but I like using a rolling pin because it's so much fun. Do this until you get a coarse crumble. Now let's melt the butter in a microwave safe bowl for 30 seconds in the microwave. Add your melted butter to the crushed cookies. Stir and let chill in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Meanwhile, while the cookie crust is chilling like a villain, let's make the homemade caramel sauce. Homemade caramel sauce is so easy to make, and once you've tried it, you won't go back to the store-bought brands. Honestly, it's not the same. In a small pot, turn your heat to medium and wait two minutes, then add in butter and brown sugar. After your butter has melted, stir together and add in the sweetened condensed milk. Turn your heat to medium low and continue stirring for 5 minutes more. Look for a creamy caramel color. Don't let it get beyond this point, otherwise it will burn. Take it off the heat and pour it into a small bowl and let it chill in the refrigerator for at least 10 minutes. Now cut up your ripe banana into slices, thin or thick, whatever your preference. Remove your cookie crumble base from the fridge and scoop it into your dessert cup with a spoon. My dessert cups fit about two tablespoons worth. Add your sliced bananas on top of that, five to six will do. Then add two tablespoons of your homemade caramel sauce. Then you can add the toffee ice cream. It's just that surprise element not typical of your traditional banoffee pie. But this is optional and you can leave it out. 
To top it off, finish with the whipped cream, leftover banana slice, and some crushed Heath bars. And now you're done. So now all you have to do is grab a spoon and a friend to enjoy this with. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this recipe, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check it out. Hope you have a great day and have fun on your cooking adventure. Bye bye. For more information about this recipe or others, please visit our website. You can also find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. If you like this video and want to see more, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.